This is the standard twin bottle mounted CO2 post mix gas regulator. It mounts to the CO2 bottle directly, just hand tightens on to do it up firmly, don't over tighten, don't use a tool. Has three gauges. This one over here with bottle written on it is the bottle gauge, surprisingly enough. When you turn put a full bottle on, expect it to come up to around the top of the green CO2 mark. Ah, there we go, cleaning the lenses, I can get that in focus. So, around the top of the green CO2, don't expect the gauges to come all the way around here. That will happen if you put it on a bottle of nitrogen or beer gas, but not with straight CO2. And it must be straight CO2, some sort of carbon dioxide. If it has a 50-50 mix or a cellar mix or any type of nitrogen in it, it will send your post mix flat pretty much instantly. So just straight CO2, which I'm sure you probably already know. Now, these two need to be adjusted. Uh, first one here is your syrup line. I've written syrups on it and written 40 PSI. PSI is the inside red one. And I've drawn a line at 40. So, once you turn the gas bottle on, take a flathead screwdriver and just wind this spindle inwards until the needle gets up to 40. Once that happens, there is a lock nut under there. Just wind that down into place. Same thing with the carbonator line carbonate line is supposed to be at 80 psi and we've drawn a line up here for you as well so just wind that in clockwise until you get down to 80 then tighten the lock nut up they're now set they will come with both these shutoff valves turned off so you can set this without having anything attached because nothing will happen until you turn these on now follow the syrup line one down taking the 6mm line that we provided, or the 6mm line from your previous install, or any 6mm pressure line you've got, put a clamp over the end of the line, slip it up over here, and clamp it in place with the pincers we provide. And this one gets run to the syrup pump board, which will be covered more in the syrup pump section. Same with the carbonator. Put a clamp over the line, push it up as far as it goes, clamp it in tight, run the line to the CO2 inlet on the machine, which is this one here. In fact, I will write CO2 on the line. Now it's got a 6mm fitting on it already, so it wouldn't have fit on the 10mm one, but it just makes life easier to mark it properly. And that's all there really is to do with the gauges. Attach it to the gas bottle, turn it on, Set the two settings, lock them off with a lock nut, run these two lines here, and that's all there is to it. Now, before you need to commission the entire machine, you will need to turn these back on, but don't do that till you're ready to get absolutely everything going.